Oh, they've changed the lot. You have to leave now, please. You're squatting. Colin from Inspire Property Management is in Tauranga today to undertake one of his least favourite jobs. Today we're uh, hopefully going to uh, enforce a court order and uh, terminate a tenancy. It's come out of some rent arrears. Really hoping to turn up today and you guys were, um, you know, ready to go and all that sort of stuff. Obviously not the case. It... Oh, no. oh look, I get it, I get it. Look, I mean, I, I don't like this either. The tenants are full of excuses but Colin's given them ample time to vacate. So, so look, I'd, um, this is the way it's going to pan out. We've organised for a bailiff. We can't get a bailiff until Monday. It's bad news, but good news in a way. Because it's the weekend, the tenants have bought themselves two days' grace. But um, the bailiff is not going to be as understanding as I am, because the bailiff's job is to enforce the court order. And unfortunately, that may mean you guys all standing in the driveway while the locks are changed. With nine kids and a house full of associated items, this isn't going to be an easy move, but Colin is ever the optimist. I think that, that the tenants understand what's happening. Uh, they understand it's not going away, so um, we've given them till 12 o'clock Monday, so hopefully over the weekend uh, they can get themselves sorted and uh, everything will uh, end on a, uh, a better note than it possibly could do. Andrea is looking forward to inspecting one of her most favourite things, a recently vacated student flat. Well, my first impression when I get into the property here is seeing the couch on the front lawn and the grass not particularly maintained. It's not a good look. Oh, right, got in. <sighs> first impressions of the hall are good. But as Andrea's eyes adjust to the gloom, on the floor, garbage. Potentially overestimated the amount of packing boxes that they needed for all their stuff, or they just gave up because there's still a lot of their stuff here, including broken chairs, bed frames, and whatever else we might find. Moving from room to room, Andrea finds more and more tenant sediment. Oh. Someone left us a drink. Fancy one? Uh, or is it a bit early? The laundry cubicle smells bad. Real bad. Oh, smelly washing in the laundry, in the washing machine. While the laundry delivers the heavy blows to Andrea's nose, the kitchen is an offence to the budget conscious. Oh, there's a chocolate cake. Um, it's not fresh. How would eat you on? Oh, what a waste of money. That's an expensive leg, half leg of ham. What a waste of good groceries. Andrea's looking at the student flat equivalent of the Ritz. If these guys could afford berries and barn-raised chicken, not to mention the ham, surely they had money for a cleaner and the overdue rent. No attempt to actually cleaning behind them. These tenants haven't just let Andrea down, they've let Uncle Ben's down, the sink. But the worst is yet to come. After taking off her raincoat, it appears someone else took off theirs. Oh no, I don't believe that. Ugh. Dirty little beggars. A condom. Fortunately, it hasn't been used. Unfortunately, the living has been used as a vomitorium. This could potentially be a vomit by the looks of it. Human or animal, I'd hate to say. The ex-tenants aren't the only ones spewing. Because time is against us, I'm actually going to get on the phone and see if I can get a hold of our cleaner and see if she has any spare capacity today or to first thing tomorrow morning so that we can get this property ready for the new tenants. In Christchurch. This is a dog. And no permission for the dog. So we did a cease and desist. We've done 14 day letters. We've pre warned She hasn't listened. Approaching the flat, the good girls can see the bad girl hasn't taken the hint. So it's still, still living here. Come on. Come on. No point in hiding in that bathroom. Here she it. is. She's coming out now. After a brief exchange, it turns out the tenant has moved out. But the woman in residence is the tenant's sister. This makes her a squatter. Oh. Squatting is illegal. No grey areas. None. No more messing around. Prue is going to push the nuclear bailiff button. I think that bugs me. 
more than anything is that they'll just, they're ripping people off and they don't care. Today, Prue and Michelle are in receipt of some good news. Apparently she's gone. gone. Prue is glad to know that the message must have really sunk in with the squatter. She must have totally turned over a new leaf, straightened her life out and moved out. Approaching the flat, everything looks deserted with only a few things left behind. No big deal for Prue. Hopefully the inside is just as uneventful. But then... Oh, they've changed the lock. It looks like the bad girls have done a good girls on the good girls. You have to leave now, please. You're squatting. This tenant is about as smart as a mashed potato sandwich on white bread. Changing the locks is actionable, and Prue is going to take action. They've changed the locks. The keys don't work. Adding insult to injury, during a brief sweep of the grounds, Prue discovers large volumes of landfill. Good to see she's a woman of a word. Oh, great. We've actually got the attempted theft of the copper. Oh, I can't be bothered with this crap. This can of Christchurch worms is well and truly opened now. In Dunedin, Click Property Manager Andrea has been left with no tenants, a deficit of rent, and most disturbingly, a rubber Johnny. I can honestly say that's the first time I've seen a used condom in an exit inspection. A couple of days later, it started raining again, but the maintenance team won't let that stand in their way. It's off to the dump with unwanted items, and it's in with the cleaners. I'm hoping that my cleaner and her team have worked miracles in managing to salvage this property under such short notice. Crikey. Clean laundry. Washing machine is empty of smelly old washing. Clean carpets. This one has come up brilliantly. Spotless kitchen. It's so clean I can see myself in the reflections. All except for one appliance. Ugh. Green eggs and ham. Same state, because it's theirs, we weren't cleaning that. For Andrea, the icing on the cake of this tenancy transformation would be to get her hands on those naughty tenants. Photograph the walls. After giving his tenants a two-day extension to vacate after a non-payment of rent forced an eviction, Colin is back to take possession of the property. Unfortunately, nothing much seems to have changed outside. But at least the inside has been cleared of belongings. Certainly, um, cleanliness uh, in terms of complying with the Residential Tenancies Act, uh, we, we're nowhere near that. This house has not been left in the state it was let in. These tenants are going to be getting a colonoscopy. Oh, that was like, yeah, they I mean, keep that's... falling down. It's got yeah. no, um, yeah, I mean, to but... put that up on. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's the sort of thing you should report to your property manager, though, if there's issues like that, OK? Now, these curtains, when you moved in, they were brand new. Yeah, these ones. Deserve. Yeah, I mean... Oh, and the next yeah. like that. Yeah, but I mean, like, that that's that was brand new. I mean, when did you guys move in here? How long have you been in here? Oh, I don't know, because I've been trying to wash those, yeah. but I don't want to peel the back. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, it's not about washing them, it's about looking after them, you know. So obviously the fire needs a clean, uh, it's pretty disappointing, it's full of cigarette butts all through here as well, I mean the, the, all our properties are non-smoking. You know, I've pointed out what I can, um, again um, any overrun over the bond will have to bear that cost. Unfortunately Colin can't wait any longer for the tenants to get this place back to the condition they found it in. They will have to move out immediately so a cleaning team can move in and get started. Yeah, that, that's me for today. Um, back in the car now, head to Rotorua and uh, yeah, another full day's work at Inspire Property Management. Colin is heading back to the scene of the eviction to see if there's been any action. At the property, Colin's thrilled to see a clear driveway and a mostly clear section. 
All right, first thing we noticed is the porta has gone, which is great. Uh, we did manage to get the company on site to remove that. Uh, unfortunately, since then, there's been a bit of rubbish uh, dumped at the property. We have had contractors around to clear all the rubbish, so uh, obviously another visit for them and unfortunately another cost for the uh, landlord. Colin heads round the back. Aside from the burst couches, log, broken hose reel and Soviet-era television, the place is pretty mint. Yeah, so um, yeah, last time we were on site, uh, that was full of rubbish, um, cigarette butts and what have you all over the top. Again, it's been cleaned, the, the flue's been cleaned, really important prior to winter to get the fire serviced and make sure it's safe for the tenants as winter rolls around. The curtains used to be a disgrace, but they've been replaced. Plus, what fly poo? The contractors have even cleaned the light fittings. Even better, the landlord has sprung for extra insulation, making this place warm and cosy. You know, this, this property is going to be a really nice, warm, comfortable uh, property for a family um, in, in a few short weeks, so on that basis we're really happy. Back in Dunedin, Click Property Manager Andrea is surprised to hear her ex-non-rent paying grubby tenants are at the door. Flies meet spider. Hello. How are you? Not too bad, how are you? Good, thank you, yeah. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Mm -hmm. Why do you think it was acceptable to leave the house in such a state that you did? The stuff that was in there wasn't actually stuff that I owned. OK, do you understand the, the situation with the lease? Were you all jointly and severally liable? Yes. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if it was yours or not, you were responsible being the last man standing to get it out. Yeah. I hope you realise that there's a substantial bill that's coming your way as well as, how come you didn't pay the last month's rent? Oh, I'm getting the boys onto that. The boys, it's the boys that are behind. Okay. The boys have come to collect their fridge, not expecting to bump into Andrea. Come on through. The fridge is yours. Who now watches them like a hawk? The lino and carpet have just been cleaned. I hope you realise there's still food in there. And they don't even remember the high value food items in the fridge when kids are starving. So if you could also talk to the boys not only about the rent arrears, but the clean-up bill was about, I think it's just come in this morning, $790 for cleaning and rubbish removal. So we also need to figure out um, if you're going to be paying that or whether we're going to be taking yours all to the Tenancy Tribunal. As I tried to explain to him, you should have had all this sorted out by the end of your tenancy. You shouldn't have left it up to us to try and sort, and now he's probably paying twice as much as he would have had to if he had actually organised a bunch of boys to actually do a dump run and even paid his own cleaner to come in and clean up. After a close call with a debt collection agency, Andrea's tenants settled their overdue account in full. In Christchurch, the good girls have made a date to go back to the untidy property with the squatter throw her out if she is still right. there, and change the locks again. Absolutely. Locks have been changed at one. So I am actually expecting that they have gone, but we will see when we get down there. We'll see. Approaching the flat, Prue notices the place has been left wide open. While the locksmith gets busy, the girls do a sweep of the property. There's a lot of rubbish. No squatters, just the assorted oddments of the irresponsible. A little bit of damage, quite a bit of damage. Prue can't help but notice that while the tenant had no money for rent, they did have enough for quality booze and a well-stocked pantry that they left behind. Keeping those beautiful shoes. That's right. While the loo's been left in good nick, the lube's been left on the carpet. There's so many sex items left behind. And also the lino. What? I'm sticking to the floor. I am sticking to the floor. Yeah, you don't know what's there. What's this tenant slash squatter is certainly one slippery customer. The good girls have seen enough. She was happy to forgive those people the balance of the lease. Really delighted. We went and that's how far they were wanted to go. They just wanted them out. They've just caused mayhem in that private little quiet cul-de-sac. Mayhem. Prue's heading back for the fourth and hopefully final time. Oh! Can't lose that tit for tat. That's cockney rhyming slang for hat. 
Right. Should his be. And will you just look at that? Well, what a difference. Just like new. Perfect colour match. Repaired. Look at the difference with this wall. Brilliant. Yeah, we're all cleaned up. And this was the uh, fridge that the owners kindly provided. This is now all we've got of that. And as to the microwave, I believe it you may have sat there. Thrillingly, there's no evidence of sticky smears on the toilet floor. So I'm very pleased with this. We've left this divine artwork that she left behind. The artwork reads, Borrowing time in this jigsaw world, slowly detaching from reality, wondering where all the missing pieces went. Maybe they went where the rent went. <laughs>